Hey friend, in this tutorial, we are doing something whimsical, something childlike and playful, something to liven up your imagination. We're doing a sailboat on a lake in a bright sunny scene. Super painter, painterly, it can be done in 10 minutes or less. So if you are ready for it, let's dive in. Let's paint a cute, whimsical sailboat scene. Maybe the sailboat is on some sort of lake and we've got some trees in the distance and we're just gonna keep this really light and strokey. I'm gonna start with my size six round brush. All the supplies I'm using are linked in the description below. Some white gouache. If you don't have white gouache, just use a lot more water in your mixture to lighten the color. I'm trying to come up with some off-white vibe. So I'm using yellow ochre and a touch of lemon yellow deep and scarlet lake. Lots of white. But again, if you don't have white gouache, just add a lot of water to this mixture to make it really light. Okay, so I'm gonna paint my sailboat first. Okay, so I want it to kind of feel like it's a little breezy on the water. So I'm gonna do a C curve to start for the front of the sail. So kind of off center, but close to center. And then I'm gonna grab water, lots of water on my brush to fill that in and kind of let those outline strokes blend in. And our ocean color is gonna be bright cobalt, some Prussian blue, and turquoise. So I'm gonna do a nice accent color for those blues. Maybe not do orange, it's direct contrasting color, but a red orange. So I'm gonna do Scarlet Lake and Cadmium Orange, a nice corally red. I'm just gonna drag my brush, the belly of my brush across, so I've got a really nice slanted hold. A thicker consistency of pigment on my brush, but it's still wet enough so I can drag it across smoothly. I like that texture that's coming through. Give it a little boop. And then we're gonna get really painterly and loose and just get some basic wave strokes down. So they're just gonna be kind of straight lines going swooping around the base of the sailboat. So I'm gonna start with cobalt and go between cobalt, phthalo turquoise, and Prussian blue. And I'm just placing little dashes. So a few cobalts down first, and then I might accent some of these with darker blue, Prussian blue. And then some turquoise. We're gonna leave it really basic and simple like that and then show some tan coast little shore in the background. So yellow ochre and Mars, uh, yellow ochre and burnt umber with a touch of white gouache if you have it or more water if you don't. We're gonna show a little shore in the background going behind that sail. And then we're gonna grab some yellow greens with sap green and lemon yellow deep. We're just going to place my size six brush down and swirl it for these little tree balls. Some smaller in size, some bigger, some bright yellow greens, some just sap greens, or sap green with Prussian blue for a little bit of a darker blue green. And then some burnt umber and a touch of Mars black for trunks. Doot, doot. And now we know where our background waves will go. Laying down cobalt blue first. Thick amount of Prussian blue to separate the cobalt strokes. Leaving a good amount of white space because you would have little crashes of waves or light glistening on the water. And then turquoise. You can carry the waves down into here or you can leave it just as it is. I'm gonna do a sky 
a really light pastel -y blue. Got cobalt blue and lots of white gouache, but you can do just cobalt blue and lots of water if you don't have white gouache. I'm gonna use my bigger brush so I don't have to keep dipping. I'm just gonna go around a little more cobalt in there so it's not so gloomy looking. It's kind of like you would see this painting in a little children's book or something. Like we're just keeping it super whimsical. Looks like it's almost unfinished, but you're leaving the rest up to the imagination. So we're leaving the edges kind of not straight, like a quick sketch with watercolor. A nice day of sailing on lake. Do you sail on lakes? Yeah, of course. Okay. I didn't grow up near lakes. <laughs> I'm an ocean person. Lake Michigan. Right, right, right. Did Lear live, live near, Lear. Lear. Live near Lake Michigan for a time. So this is a very simple, basic idea. Honestly, I think it would be super cute to hang this up like in a kid's room um, or kid's bathroom. Um, so if you're happy with it, you, the end result, you could put it in a frame, put it in your kid's room if you have one or gift it to someone who does. Um, but it's just a nice way of just bringing bursts of life back to your imagination and keeping things painterly and simple, not overthinking it landscape wise and going for like that limbs, whimsical, going for that whimsical vibe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was fun for you. Let me know in the comments below if you switched it up. Maybe you did a little ocean scene instead of a lake scene. I don't know. Or if you wanna see some other scenes like this, hit us up in the comments below. We appreciate and love you guys for the engagement so, so much. This community is just a buzzing little art, art team of, of fun people. So thank you so much for being, for commenting and liking and subscribing to this channel because it means the world to us. And it really helps us uh, continue to make these videos and then also boost this channel and get it into other people's eyeballs and screens. So thank you. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.